Hello, um, the reason for this video today is to have a look at the myths surrounding supermarket fuel and one of the tools I'm going to use to have a look at these myths is my old diesel filter. Um, my car now has done 102,000, I changed this filter at about 101,000. To my knowledge it's the um, same filter, it's never been changed, it's still got the Dacia mark on it and I'm pretty sure the early services that I had at the dealer never changed it and subsequent services I've never changed it and it wasn't for uh, me doing the drive belt the other day um, I knew I was going to have to get round to it but that prompted me to do it so today what I've done is I've sawn the top off um, obviously drained the diesel out and what I need to do is have a look to see exactly how much debris is in there and I would say I've used 95% supermarket fuel throughout the car's life so I know this is sort of like a spung loaded affair there is some debris here that's iron filings where I hacksaw the top off so here is the main filter the important thing is is what's down inside to be honest with you it's not too bad there's a little bit of Merc in there, hopefully you can see that But for a hundred thousand miles worth, it's it's not too bad Right now we're gonna actually have a look at the actual filter itself and see What's been collected in there? Right, so What I'm going to do is attempt to deconstruct this very clean to me there was no evidence of water in it Yeah, perhaps it is a little bit dirty, but it's nowhere near as bad as I really don't think that that is too bad at all Now you tell me would that have been any better using a premium diesel? I personally don't think so No, I think um I think I'll go along with those that believe that supermarket fuel is just as good as any other fuel and certainly a non-complicated and lazy engine as the K9K 1.5 DCI but um, yeah just a little bit of muck in there and I honestly think that's in pretty good shape for 100,000 miles well I hope that was useful today, um, trying to expel some of the myths around supermarket fuels and um, I know it was only short but hopefully it was informative but I'd love to hear your comments. I mean we have heard horror stories about supermarket fuels and there was one not too far away from me where people suffered water in their tanks but that was due to a 
driver that was actually siphoning off fuel before he got there and filling it up with water. But let me know in your comments below if uh, you have experienced any bad problems with it. Until next time, we'll see you later.